the late 80s and 90s were the preteen years of craft beer, the 2000s were its coming of age. Not content with the ales and lagers just beginning to catch on across the country, in 2006 we launched our barrel aging program after years of experimentation. The following year we hit the road, bringing not just great beer, but our culture as well. These guys carry the spirit of the sheets across the country, one tears at a time. Hey, it's a hard job, but someone's got to do it. With Woody on the road in the opening of the Portland pub, more folks were discovering Deschutes Brewery than ever before. And then, Red Chair, world's best beer. Don't mind if I do? Well and truly on the world stage now, we again refuse to rest easy. Instead, we double down on our greatest investment, our people. In 2013, we announced our employee stock ownership program, giving every employee not only the title of co-owner, but also a share of the company. With everybody's skin in the game, conversations like, what if we built a giant movable bar? Dude, what? Yeah. That's gonna cost way too much. Let's do it. All became more important to the future of the company. More on that shortly. The co-owner initiative truly was a fresh idea for craft beer. One that's been imitated nearly as much as this blockbuster. This one really blew up the map as did Street Pub, raising over a million dollars for charities in the communities we visited. It's 2016 and Deschutes is kicking ass. Fresh ideas are everywhere and expansion is heading east. And then... dark times we're in as an industry. Or is there? You gotta remember, as a brewery, we've been through it all. We've got this. Since 1988, we've pushed ahead with fresh ideas through highs and lows. And we're not going anywhere. <laughs> 